Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? I hope you're doing well, all right? So we're back here with some more Dire Straits. Going to be checking out Brothers in Arms. I believe this is the live at Nelson Mandela uh, concert event that was happening here. So thank you guys so much for suggesting this one, man. I'm excited to finally get around to this one. I think it's been suggested for months now. Uh, so I know I've been hitting up multiple Dire Straits, but I haven't got around to Brothers in Arms because there's just a lot of music uh, recommended and suggested from Dire Straits. So in no particular order have I got to run around to them, but we're finally here at Brothers in Arms, guys. So I'm excited to check this one out, man. Hopefully it's the right video. They all look about the same length. Uh, some look a little bit better than others as far as the video goes with. So I went with this one. It looks like a nice middle ground uh so hopefully this is the right one man uh excited to get into this thank you guys for tuning in if you're here really appreciate that let's go ahead and see what's up this one is really for the the gentleman in question this evening best birthday party we've ever been to thanks for having us it looks emotional One humanity, one justice. Oh yeah, Mark's move, man. When my home is a lonely And it always will be Someday you'll return To Your valleys and fun And you'll no longer burn to their brothers and I Nobody plays a guitar like Mark, man. Nobody. There's so many in a different world. So many different songs. We have just one world. But we live in
the sun's gone to hell You got the moon right in high Let me bid you farewell Every man has to die For the swimming in the starlight And every light in your palm That's just an emotional ride, man. That's just an emotional ride from beginning to end. Dude, what a freaking solo by him there on the outro too, man. Um, I just, I love Mark Knopfler, man. I love, love Mark Knopfler, love Dire Straits. Uh, great sound, man. Great sound right here. I want to look into Brothers in Arms. All right, so we've got Brothers in Arms right here, released in 1985, man. It's uh, classified rock, blues rock. Uh, the full length version is six minutes fifty eight seconds, so we just got a video that was o almost eight and a half minutes long. Uh, so I'm assuming we heard the full version of it right there. Brothers in Arms is a song released uh, by British rock band Dire Straits, the closing track of their fifth studio album of the same name, released on uh, in October 1985. It was written in 1982, the year of Britain's involvement in the fa uh, Falklands. War in 2007, the 25th anniversary of the war, Mark Knopfler recorded a new version of the song at Abbey Road Studios to raise funds for British veterans who he said are still suffering from the effects 
of that conflict, Brothers in Arms has become a favorite at military funerals. Um, it says the song is written, of course, about the Falklands War and is described by some as an anti-war song. So it says that this war was a 10-week war undeclared. It was a 10-week undeclared war between Argentina and the United Kingdom in 1982 over two British uh, dependent territories in the South Atlantic, the Falklands Islands and its territorial dependency, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. All right, so there we go with that one, man. Um, just another strong anti-war song, if you uh, get it that way. Of course, you know, some of the some of the words, I mean, Mark used right here, I gotta, I gotta show you. Just on the opening verse, you know, the miscovered mountains are a new home, uh, our home now for me, but my home is in the lowlands and always will be. Someday you'll return to your valleys and farms and, you know, no, no longer burn to be brothers in arms, man. And, and it's uh, interesting to think about when you join the military or whatever. Uh, for me, it was the military. You have people of all diversities, different backgrounds, some city life, some rural area, some swamplands, you know, just different ways of life. And you're all joined together in this band of brotherhood. Um, you're willing to die for each other because you might have to someday. And uh, you gain these bonds, but like he's saying, someday you'll go back. I guess uh, the unfortunate part is some days you, you'll go back, but you won't be who you were most times. Or sometimes if you've seen conflict and war, you left there with one mindset and you come back a totally changed person. A lot of times a scarred person uh, that can't ever re reclaim who they used to be. Uh, that part of you is pretty much gone uh, once you've had changes done to you uh, that you can't undo and see. So... Through these fields of destruction, bapti uh, baptisms by fire. Okay, you're 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 being baptized in war, man. You're going out there and you're seeing things that you shouldn't ever have to see and be a part of things you shouldn't ever have to be a part of. Uh, but that's the way it is, right? So baptism by fire, man. Just the war, the sounds of the gunshots, the rockets exploding, uh, all of that stuff. That, of course, the death and destruction, um, and sometimes even worse than all of that. But I think. Uh, the most impactful for me is the very last two lines. You know, we're fools to make war on our brothers in arms, man. Um, I, I think that could mean a lot of things for me. That could mean a lot of things for me. And two of the ones I'll share is we're fools to make war in general. You know, we're, it shouldn't be necessary. It shouldn't have to be bloodshed and killing and um, stuff like that. But the other way I take it is we're fools to make war on our brothers in arms, right? Those who, those anti-war protests, those who attack uh, the veterans and stuff like that, uh, I, to me, I think he's calling them out, is, you know, we're fools to go and, and ridicule them and attack them. Um, that's kind of what one of the ways I look at it is, you know, these conflicts, unfortunately, are much higher than the people wearing the suits. You know, it's, it's the people pulling the strings at the top, and if you want to attack anybody and get change, it's them. I mean... Yeah, I'll just cut off there. Those are the two ways I interpret it. Uh, but you guys can let me know what you think about this song and uh, how it hits you personally, man. Thank you guys for the suggestion right here. Just brilliant music, man. Brilliant music. Of course, a strong message on top of it. Uh, with the conflict that I actually wasn't aware of myself. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that one, get a little bit more understanding on the, that uh, conflict as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in here today, man. Really appreciate the suggestion here. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions down below for the ways you can help the channel, man. And uh, with that being said, I'm gone. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.